Welcome back to Biology 103 Lab. I'm going to briefly demonstrate to you uh, how to do the um, uh, ABO typing uh, uh, exercise uh, for week uh, seven. You'll find in the kit some stirrers and uh, blood, synthetic blood, uh, actually, and as well, three sera, three anti sera. These represent uh, antibodies against the um, uh, A antigen, the B antigen, that's the yellow one here, and the D or RH uh, factor antigen. That's the clear one here. Now to do this, we're going to uh, mix uh, one of the blood samples to uh, each of these uh, antisera in their respective wells on this uh, plate. Let's see if I can... Okay, the plate has three wells, one for antiserum A, one for antiserum B, dirty, and one for the RH, uh, uh, antiserum uh, D is in dog. So, I'll start with uh, blood sample number one, I suppose. Uh, it would be a good idea, I'm guessing, to wear gloves. And you see I have my goggles as well. Oops, these are nitrile gloves and they're very old so um, uh, they're not the ones that came with the kit. Hopefully those that came with your kit will not be so fragile. Oh boy, these are... These are uh, drop dropper vials. So I'm going to put Oh, and uh, another good idea is to mix the reagents in their vials before uh, using them. So now, I'm going to put a drop of this sample into each of the three wells. To aim well with this and... Uh... Alright, so there's a drop of uh, sample one blood uh, in each of the three wells. Now the well labeled A is going to get anti-A serum, representing the antibodies in the um, uh, serum of people who are uh, type B, type, and type O. And that's it. All right, so here we go. One drop anti-serum A, anti-A serum. You'll find the antibodies to B in the serum of type A individuals and type O individuals. So, a drop of that in the well labeled B. Finally, the uh, antibodies to antigen D, or the rhesus antigen. There we are. <clears throat> now, I'm going to stir those for 30 seconds. So we... Set this for 30 seconds. Start it. Get a stirrer. And blue is for A. Okay, now very important. 
um, you want to discard the stirrer after each well, a new stirrer for each well. Uh, and that's because uh, otherwise you could cross contaminate and you might have false uh, positives as a result. A positive result is agglutination, the formation of flecks or specks, however you want to call them, in the uh, 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 in each well. All right. Finally, the D well. It's one of the white stirrers. Uh -huh. And I doubt that uh, the camera is going to uh, show this for you, but in fact, the A well here has clumps in the mixture. I'm really doubting that you're going to be able to see that, but uh, they're because they're very fine uh, clumps. The rest do not. So now I interpret this. The blood here, because it agglutinates with the A anti serum or anti A serum, it, it, it has on its uh, red cell uh, surfaces antigen A. Because it doesn't have uh, agglutination in the B well, it doesn't have antigen B on uh, the red cells as well. And therefore, the, um, uh, the genotype is either A and null, or little i, uh, that is to say, neither A nor B, or it might be homozygous uh, for antigen A. Big A, big A. There's no uh, B again, and there's no agglutination on the uh, RH anti-serum uh, anti either, unless I'll check again. Actually, there is agglutination on the RH uh, well. Uh, <laughs> uh, this one. Ah. Uh, Again, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the video. Uh, so this person, uh, uh, blood type, is A positive. A for the A antigen and positive for the D or rhesus antigen. Okay, that's, uh, that's all there is to it, basically. I'll let you get uh, on it.